Hey everybody, it's Adam from PC Clear at Computers and Games. Um, recently, um, well recently meaning today, I got a shipment in from Amazon. And as you can see here, it's a Champions uh, role-playing game. Um, I'm a member of a Facebook group called the Fans of the Dead Game Society. Shout out to them. And uh, there was a post on there probably about a week ago about uh, the, the uh, rules for Champions being available on Amazon. So I went on Amazon. I'm like, man, I can pick up two of the hardcover uh, rule books for 30 bucks a piece. And I bought two of them. I figured, what the heck, you know. I love Champions. I thought Champions was one of the better um, role-playing games, uh, superhero role-playing games that was out there. It's a little number crunchy to create a character and stuff like that. It's not like 3D6 and Go, like a basic d and is. But it was one of the better systems out there. Um, I'm really not shooting this video to debate on what the best superhero role-playing game is. Um, I'm here to show you some things here. Number one, these books... These books are bootleg. Bootleg as hell. Okay? If these books... If I find out these books are legitimate, I would be very much surprised. Okay? About as surprised as you are on Mori to find out the dude is the father. Right? Okay? So, let's look at some things. My The first thing that tips me off that these might not be what I ordered... I'll, I'll say it that way. It's not what I ordered. Is they came in this box. Okay, um, this box is about maybe an inch and a half, two inches uh, thick. And I remember the Champions 4th Edition rule book, the hardcover one, being a hefty book. So I'm like, well, how in the heck did they fit two, uh, two books inside this little package here? I figured maybe they shipped one in one box, one in another box. It's not unheard of for Amazon to do that. I opened it up and I got... Two soft cover books. All right, two soft cover books. Those are the two books I received. This is not a hard hardback book, which is okay. Uh, first thing I did was I looked through it immediately, and I saw that it had the you know campaign book, the source book, and everything else like that. Uh, fourth edition printing. That all looks good. At first glance, these look good. Then I really got to looking at them a little bit more in depth, and these books, if they were printed up at the time they were supposed to be printed up, see it as the combat and adventuring stuff and everything like that. And it has the two books. It has the source book and it has the campaign book in it, which the hardback book did have in it. But if these were printed up at the right time in history, number one, we, we never, never got white pages like this back in the 90s. It just didn't happen. And these books are supposed to be 30, 40 years old? Yeah. That was my first hint that these things were kind of bootleggish. The second thing that hit me was the ISBN number on the in, on the front page is different than the ISBN number on the back of the book. But wait, there's more. If you look at it, the pictures, the front cover, the art on it looks kind of a little pixelated. And I don't know if this is showing up on camera or not, but there's a distinct, uh, a distinct, like, fuzzy aura, I want to call it, um, around the letters. And then if you turn it on the back, which might be a better, uh, a better example, always turn them on their back. I don't know if the camera is showing this really well. This It shows really well down here. You can see that this text was not typeset in. All right? This text, there's no way that that text was typeset in. This was scanned in. Okay, so I'm like, well, gee, you know, um, it's been a while since I've looked at the Champions 4th Edition rulebook, so I might be wrong. Let me take a look. So I went to the vault. And I pulled out my hardcover, 4th edition, Champion's Rulebook. The ISBN number on the back on the UPC symbol is the same as it is on the front cover here. This thing's in really bad shape, guys. That's why I was kind of excited to get two more copies of it. Um, the binding is shot to hell. 
Uh, there was a distinct problem with Champions 4th uh, Edition, the binding on the hardcover books. It's kind of well documented. Uh, but look, the text looks clear. I'll show you a side-by-side -side example here. Okay. I'm sorry if the lighting's a little off, but we have the original one down here. And then we have the, the, the reprint right here. Okay. It just looks different. The blue. This is blue. This is purple. This is purple right here. The UPC looks all out of whack. There's way too much white space around that. The ICE, the Iron Crown Enterprises logo, looks pixelated. There it is on the reprint that I got today. And there it is on the original one. Okay, maybe I can blow this up a little bit, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's the original. That's the reprint. Let me get it out of the glare here for you a little bit because these covers are very, very glossy. Go, And you can see, this, this might be a little bit better example of what I was talking about as far as the text goes. You see how the text is kind of pixely? This was scanned in. Okay, I've been doing computer work for 25 plus years. I know some, when something's scanned in. You see how the, the E there, you see how the E... It's closed in. It looks like it's it's just fuzzy as hell, right? But if you look at my hardback copy, it's not. It's all crystal clear. I'm kind of glad we blew this up now because that really uh, shed some light on it. Some other things I noticed. I'm going to take the original one, put it out of the way. I'm going to bring one of the ones I got in today. I'm flipping through the book. On page five, where they give you the sample character sheet, well, that's not even good binding, is it? I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's the character sheet. All right, well, maybe it's a one-off. Let me check the other book. All right. Same thing. Again, if I zoom in on it a little bit, you see how the lines are all splotchy and everything like that? They're missing pixels out of it. It just it looks terrible. The lines beside the stats. Here we go. Let me get that in frame. I am so sorry. Strength, dexterity, constitution, body. The, the lines are just like non-existent. This is a very, very bad scan. Very bad scan of the original book. I guess somebody took the book apart, original book apart, scanned it in. And maybe they have a printer that they use. Maybe they have a printing press that they use or a book. Made, you know, have whatever the printers use to do this type of thing with. Maybe they have it in their basement or something. Um, and they're, they, they think they're going to print it up. You know, well... That ain't going to happen. So let's see here. You see some of the maps? Let's see. This is page C11. You see how the name on some of these things? Like, let's see. Here we go. Housekeeper's bedroom. You see how that's all, like, blurry, blocked in, and everything like that? Okay. Now let's go to the original uh, source book. Let's go to the original rule book here. And let's see what it's supposed to look like. The character sheet on page five. There we go. You can actually read it. The lines are there. Now, all these pages have yellowed a little bit because of age. You can see the lines beside the, the statistics. Strength, dexterity, constitution, body, intelligence, ego, presence, that type of thing. The lines are there. This is not a scanned-in page. Let's look at the other thing we're talking about. Let's look at C11. There we go. And you can see that the housekeeper's... I'm going to wait for my camera to focus here. Come on, focus. You can do it. There we go. You see how housekeeper's bedroom, you can actually read it. Okay. So... A little side-by-side -side comparison here. Let me find that again. I think I'm almost at the limit for my phone. And the final thing is the soft cover. Looky there. They got a QR code. And they got that information there. There's no QR 